Hey there, Dane here from Start Here FM and Dane.io. And today I just wanted to do a quick video for you on the fastest way to learn a programming language, in my opinion. I'm currently working as a senior programmer. I've been programming for, you know, since I was like 13 years old. Um, I'm currently much older than that. Uh, so, and I've worked with enough students at a junior level, helping them reach a junior level that I feel like I can sort of identify a few key tactics that are, that is going to help you accelerate your programming. And these are counterintuitive, right? So these are counterintuitive. So a lot of what I'm about to say, um, you know, it might seem kind of strange or, um, it might not seem like stuff that you've heard before. But keep in mind, this is very important. Uh, so tactic number one, the first thing, is context. And if you've heard my podcast, you might be familiar with some of this. But I'm, I'm you know, doing this in video form. I feel like I'm going to go into detail in a little bit of a different way. So I don't think it's duplicative um, if you have heard the podcast. Um, so context, step number one. Fastest way to learn a programming language, context. What that means is I want you to go to the IRC for the language. I want you to know who the language's top people are. I want you to know the last 10 things that they've committed on GitHub. I want you to read the code that they commit. I want you to read tutorials, read tutorials in the language. And this is, and this is presupposing that you've chosen a language right that you've chosen a language so you, this presupposes that you have to choose a language and a framework and then from there well i guess maybe we should start at square one so square one step zero is choose a language and a framework so ruby rails python django php laravel stuff like that choose a language and a framework just one it's not something that you're going to commit to for the rest of your life don't freak out about it um, don't make it a huge deal or anything like that. It's just something that you're gonna choose for the next set amount, of, make, it, make it an experiment, right? Say, you know, I'm gonna choose this language for the next six months, three months, 12 months, 18 months, uh, until my next job, something like that, right? Don't, don't freak out and stress about what language to choose. Don't bounce around between languages a lot. Pick one, one language and one framework, and that's what we're gonna use throughout this video. And it's not gonna be the longest video, I'm gonna keep it short. So step that's step zero. Step one is to then read tutorials in that language and in that framework. Just read them, that's it, just read them. And what this does is it allows you to internalize the language that you're hearing. So a lot of this language, if you're new to programming, this is especially useful to people that have never programmed. Um, a lot of the language that you're gonna hear, like models and controllers and you know Lambda functions, a lot of this language and this vocabulary is brand new to you. So if you go to Spanish class, one of the first things they do is they have you learn vocabulary. So that's what I'm having you do here. So I want you to read tutorials, just read them. And what your brain is gonna to start to do, it's gonna to start to connect the dots between some of these things that you're reading. And this is very powerful. Um, continue reading, even if you don't understand it. Just literally read it. And also do all the other things. Go to the IRC, check out the leaders of the community, go to GitHub, check out their commits, stuff like that. You really wanna immerse yourself in the world. This is the step one, immersion, context. Really immerse yourself in the world of the language. Um, you know, the, the forums, the subreddits, just really immerse yourself in the language. Go to the conferences for the language. So RubyConf if it's Ruby, RailsConf if it's Ruby, SciPy if it's Python, uh, LaraCon if it's PHP or whatever. Go to the conferences and watch all the keynotes, every single one. Just do it, like that's a requirement. After you've done this, and I call this my advanced beginner challenge, after you've done that, you are gonna feel so like much more ahead than you thought you ever could, trust me. And conference videos are a damn good way to speed up the learning process, I'm telling you that. Or I should say speed up the context process. They don't, it's kind of hard to learn in those videos sometimes, but 
the context is so powerful. So for instance, if I had to tomorrow go and give a talk at a meetup about a, pro a technical topic that I'm not an expert in, what I would do is the night before I would watch all of the conference videos I could find on that topic. That's what I would do. And I've been doing this for so long. So if that's what I would do, that's what you should do. So if you wanna gain context, watch conference videos. It's great. It makes you feel like an expert because these guys are. These guys are experts at this stuff. Um, so the next thing that you wanna do, so that's step one, really this context and immersion gathering process. And this is a big process. It can take anywhere from you know one day to three months to six months. You can kind of intersperse it with other steps, uh, but this is a very important process. The next thing that you wanna do that is step two, do 25 tutorials. So this is part of my advanced beginner challenge. So the advanced beginner challenge is ten, read 10 tutorials and do 25. Read 10, do 25. Um, and I added on some other stuff in this video, right? So the doing of 25 tutorials, this is, a, this is a powerful thing. I mean, not many people do this, right? I know a lot of people that want to become web developers, but they've never done 25 tutorials in their lifetime. And they've maybe wanted to become web developers for a couple of years. Don't be a wanner. Go out and like get what you want, right? So the fastest way to get you what you want is to deserve what you want. Do the work, put in the work, put in the time. So in this case, it's very easy. Programming, it's like laid out for you, how to program, how to become a web developer. It's all laid out on, on the internet and blogs and, and articles and YouTube videos like this. It's, the path is handed to you on a golden platter more than any job that I know of. You don't have to go to university. You know, you don't have to spend $200,000. Like, the, the, I'm handing you, and not just me, thousands of resources online. We're handing you the golden platter of the path to learn web development, to get an amazing job, be creatively fulfilled, work wherever you want in the world. Whatever, the, whatever it is about this job that you love, it's so easy to do it. Or rather, it's so easy to get it. The only problem is it takes a lot of hard work. And that's the part that people don't like. It's easy to get it, but it's not easy to complete the hard work that is required before you get it. That's about as simple as, as, as it gets. And so to combat this, I kind of tell people, just do 25 tutorials. You know, don't stress out about doing too much work or too little work. Just do a bunch of tutorials, a bunch, right? Pick in your language, just do a bunch. Um, so a lot of people then come back and say, okay, well, if I just do 25 tutorials, what if I do the wrong 25? I don't, so that's a little bit of this, net, this sort of scarcity thinking where you're like, oh, I don't know if I should do this tutorial or this tutorial, just trust me, do any number of tutorials 25 times. You know, like Bruce Lee had this quote where he was like, I don't fear the man who did a thousand kicks, I fear the man who did one kick a thousand times. So I don't fear the man who has learned a hundred programming languages one day at a time. I fear the man who has learned one language and done one tutorial a day for a thousand days. That's the guy that's gonna be paid the most. That's the guy that's gonna be working at Amazon on drone technology like Brian Beckman and some of my heroes. That's the guy to fear, right? Like that's the guy that's gonna overtake you because he's just a badass, learns one thing a thousand days in a row, right? Whatever it is, like this is what you wanna be like. So the 25 tutorials is just a great clear cut way for me to communicate this concept to you that you wanna take action consistently. And I'm, I'm gonna, you know, as simple as I could get it is just 25 tutorials, right? You, how, how do you do that? Well, you could do one tutorial a day. You could do one tutorial a week. It doesn't really matter. I just prefer that you do it in a consistent fashion. So don't like not do any and then one week do 25 and then stop, don't do that. Do, you know, do it consistently, but in some kind of cadence that is 
you know, some kind of cadence that works for your life. I know a lot of people that are trying to become web developers that honestly, they have jobs that are more stressful than mine. And I have a crazy job, multiple jobs. So, you know, and these people are, are trying to learn web development and, and manage their family and they have kids, not only a stressful job, you know, so whatever it is for you that you can fit in your life, just make sure that you do it consistently. So internalize this advice, read 10 tutorials, do 25, and I'm actually coming out with an ebook that sort of gives you a guide of exactly what tutorials for each language. But for now, since I don't have that ready for you, just pick 25 and pick 10 and just read them and do them. Read 10, do 25, it's that simple. Doesn't matter what they are, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. You could do 25 slightly wrong tutorials and be better than somebody that did five perfect ones. I promise you. So that is really the most important step. So that's sort of step three, I think. Or no, step two, that's step two. So step one is context and immersion. Uh, step two is doing the action, which is the 25 tutorials. And obviously, you know, this is really the end of it. This, there's not really another step. I mean, this is really the fastest way I know to learn programming. And this is what I teach all my students. Um, it's really just those two steps. And it, what we do is we do them over and over again. Um, there's different strat, there's different tactics and how I might teach somebody tutorials. Um, but, and, and the, I'll do a video on how do I, how do you build a web application without knowing how to build one? And that's really the video that's kind of the next step in this process after you've completed the Advanced Beginner Challenge. Um, but I'll stop this video here. And again, the, the concept to expediate programming, read a lot, immerse yourself in context, and step two, take tons of action consistently over and over again in the language of your choice. And this is very simple, by doing tutorials. It's that simple, over and over. Do more than most people would do, and you'll be better than most people. I promise you that. All right, see you guys next time.